Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're really excited today. We have a special guest. Miss Mona Lee is here. She's a breast cancer survivor, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her story. So thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, for sure. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey and your story with breast cancer? I began getting uh, yearly mammograms in my late 30s. I was diagnosed with breast, breast cancer when I was 45. And um, up until that time, I had never had a major illness, never been in the hospital except to have a baby, wow, yeah. never had surgery, never had a broken bone, rarely had a cold. Um, God had blessed me with extremely good health, so cancer was a lot to process. Um, I had a lumpectomy in September of 2008, began uh, chemotherapy. I had six treatments, one every three weeks. Chemotherapy is very harsh. Um, it, you're putting toxic chemicals in your body to kill the cancer cells, mm -hmm. but it affects every part of your body. Um, I had about 20 different side effects. Um, I would feel so bad after a, a treatment. And uh, over a period of a couple of weeks, my body would start um, to feel better. And then it'd be time for another uh, treatment. So I can remember waking up in the morning thinking, oh, I wished it was night. And at night, I wished it was morning. Time could not pass by fast enough. Yeah. Um, I finished my treatments in January of 2009. Began radiation treatment in February. It's five days a week for seven weeks. Uh, radiation is not as harsh, but it did make me very tired, very weak, and it burned my skin much like a, a sunburn. Mm. By June, I felt, was feeling much better, um, more like myself, more normal. Yeah. And uh, I quit wearing a hat in August. Uh, I was so tired of wearing um, hats and, and wigs. My hair barely covered my head. Um, and I just, I want to give uh, glory and praise to God. Uh, he carried me through this journey. Um, breast cancer took a year of my life and um, I want to encourage everyone to, to get a mammogram. I know it's not a pleasant thing, yeah. but early detection makes a difference. For sure, yeah. It's definitely great that, you, that you're here and you're able to share your story and help maybe someone out there that may be dealing with it or have family members that are um, dealing with it. Um, can you just talk a little bit about why it is so important to um, honor those who may have gone through it or may have lost someone um, from breast cancer and just raise awareness this whole month and beyond this month? Yes, uh, breast cancer is very devastating. Um, and especially if you don't catch it early and it gets in your lymph nodes or other parts of your body and, and it may be treatable, but um, you know, it'll give you a little more time, but it, mm -hmm. it, it can take your life. And um, so it's very important to, to early detection. It's so important. And, um, and just to lose someone um, that you love when you, know, you could have um, prevented it yeah. is, is very, um, just very devastating. Yeah, I think it's important because sometimes we don't realize how common it is. I'm sure, I think probably everybody knows somebody or has gone through it themselves. So it's definitely important and we appreciate you sharing your story with us. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your journey or about to those that may be struggling with this now? Um, just, just draw strength from, from the Lord and, and from your family and um, and, and other breast cancer um, survivors, I, I reached out to some to some that had went through it and, uh, and gave me some some very helpful information to deal with it. Yeah, definitely. That is definitely helpful to draw comfort from people who have gone through it already. Definitely. Well, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. You know, it's kind of a vulnerable thing, but we really want to take this month and longer than this month, like you were saying, to raise awareness and be able to honor those people who have gone through that journey. So thank you so much for Absolutely. joining us. Absolutely. Sure. And stick around. We'll be right back after the break.